Hey, it's Mike from Hillside Hives. Can't be working in the bee yard today. It's January in New England, too cold. So great time to be in the workshop, getting ready for the spring. So today we're going to work on some deep hive boxes. Okay, what we're going to focus on today is I'm going to show you the jig that Sue built. Now we didn't develop this jig. This jig, uh, you can find this jig online, um, many different places using jigsaw and using a table saw. So what I'm talking about is this little handle. Boy, when we first started out, thank goodness Sue found this and Sue built this jig because this little handle is so important. As we all know, when you're carrying a beehive box around, this handle is so important to have. I, you know, and I've seen them where you nail the handle on the outside and I think that's great if that's what you have, but Sue developed this, which I like a little bit better. Okay, so let me explain this jig to you. So basically this whole piece is part of the jig, this whole um, part that sits on the table. And you can see this little uh, holder right here. This is just cut from, uh, feels like three quarter pine, uh, I'm sorry, three quarter plywood. And it's pretty long, say two, two and a half, three feet, something like that. The base here, this um, handle is the most important piece. So here's the jig itself. So as I don't have measurements for this jig again, there's so many online that show you the measurements of how they use, how they do this. But this is basically the jig itself. What you need to do is you need to start with uh, your side. I do this for the front and the sides of the bee boxes, all, all sizes. The only one I don't do it for is the front of the two frame hive because you just can't fit. Um, but I gotta tell you, in working in the bee yard, it's important to have handles on every side uh, to pace, based on you know where you're at. I just found that so much easier. I've seen some beehives without any handles in the front or back, which um, I like mine in the front and the back, so I put them on all four sides. So basically what you have to do is you have to get your uh, piece. Now this happens to be a front or a back piece because what I do is I cut these all down to size and then I already I put the rebate joint in there where the frames are gonna sit in. So I have to know that this is gonna sit in the front just because of how my jig works. So I wanna put the jig in the right, right direction. So this just sits down here on this plywood. The jig sits right over this. And then there's two little pins that kind of lock it into place. That's not all. You take a clamp then and you secure this down because you don't want this moving around when you have that table or that jigs or that circular saw in there. So that's nice and secure in there. Next step is you take your circular saw. So what we've done is we've tied the circular saw back so this is, doesn't spring down all the way. And you have your circular saw that fits right into this jig right here. So what you need to do is you need to put this into this jig and you start high where the blade's not touching the board whatsoever. And as I come down, I'm gonna start touching this board and then I'm gonna start doing a repetitive up and down until I get all the way down to the bottom of this jig where this um, safety bar hits uh, the bottom of the jig. And then I'm gonna move this over because there's just maybe like a half an inch over that it goes, move over and then come up. And then I'm gonna go up and down just a little bit with this just to get that nice and smooth. Remember, definitely need your ear protection and your mask. Be very careful at this point because this is, we have strung this up so this is not in a safety position so that blade is gonna continue to go when you're done. It's not gonna safety the hatch isn't gonna come back down. So let's take this out. The other thing I don't have going right now is I have one of those vacuum systems in the cellar um, that Sue had set up a long time ago. And I don't have it running just because you won't be able to hear the video but I have a hose right here and you can see it's just kind of being held in by this top of my um, mini hive, just because as this goes, it's gonna blow all this dust right back into our uh, collection system. So, let's see, there we go. We have a handle and there's the rebate joint. So handles on the right side. All right, I've done that for every um, side. I'm only doing four boxes today because I only do them in small quantities at a time. Like I do like maybe four or five at a time. Only because just being a newer 
beekeeper, a newer woodworker, I don't want to do like 20 boxes at once and then go back and one of them is screwed up in the measurement, which I could see happening. So I only do like four at a time. So that way, and I check it all the way as I go through. So four times four, 16. So I've done 16 hand, side handles. So now I'm just going to put these together and uh, probably put them over together over the next two days because i got other stuff to do on the website. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.